The last question is to be asked by the Honorable Sukas. Thank you, Chair. Minister, our country experienced a wave of social unrest in July of 2021, with over 350 people killed. We are currently facing serious social and environmental challenges that contribute to the negative outlook of many South Africans. Their lived experience is the escalation of crime, high unemployment, and systemic dysfunction at all levels of government. How does the minister plan to embrace um, this in her program to review 30 years of democracy? The lack of transformation in addressing the root causes of ineffective security institutions, poor oversight and consequence management, and weak state institutions that have little capacity for execution and the implementation of government plans. Thank you. The Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, Honourable Chairperson. The department has um, been uh, working hard on ensuring that uh, the bill that would deal with all these issues that have been raised here will actually be passed um, in Parliament uh, very soon. And um, um, we, we are planning to ensure that we deal with the issue of uh, the institutionalization of planning because we have realized that lack of institutionalized planning does become a problem. We can't have one department out there that deals with planning, monitoring and evaluation, but we need to build a, um, um, a machinery in all departments, in all spheres of government that would then now work with this department of ours to ensure that institutionalization of planning does take place so that when we monitor and evaluate progress and performance of different institutions, we do it uh, coming from one point, which would then now be guided by the NDP, of course. And um, um, we also do believe that immediately when we finish doing that, we then now need to look at processes of um, 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 repurposing our, our, our department as well so that we don't only solely um, um, exist for performance um, uh, monitoring and evaluation, but we also are given an opportunity or we, we, we do get a platform where we can deal directly with some of the things that are in the NDP, especially as it relates to developmental issues, not only on the um, 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 countryside or, or on domestic level, but also tapping into the international um, um, developmental agencies that should then now be able to assist us to deal with it, um, uh, the developmental agenda that we have of our country, which will definitely be able to deal with the issues that the Honourable Minister have asked. So once the, 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 the bill is been passed, we do believe that we will be having what it takes to be able to institutionalise planning, but we will also be given an opportunity to be able to take measures for non-performance as it relates to those planning that we would have made, especially the long-term planning and the medium-term to, to, uh, medium planning as well. Thank you very much.